What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we head to Hungary for the Hungarian Grand Prix with Daniel Ricciardo. And as you can see, we've reached 85 on our rating for the driver as well. So everything is going as planned in the season so far. Had a few bumps along the road, of course, don't get me wrong. But with the podium we got in Silverstone, our form is definitely on the way up so with that being said let's take a look at where we're at in terms of the vehicle so if you can see there's a couple upgrades coming one in the chassis one in aero and one in powertrain and that will take us above aston martin and even above the mercedes with where we're at currently in terms of performance so nothing to shirk at there so in terms of the actual vehicle itself we've got a few components that are a bit worn out but nothing that should be too concerning at the moment we'll probably replace them just to make sure and that should keep us from avoiding any sort of grid penalties because again we've still got a few components left on the more important parts so all looking good there and in terms of the standing with the podium that we got it at silverstone we are now in the top 10 well in front of our teammate by 21 points and again giving ourselves a big points boost in the constructor standings as well as well we are now in six with that with a 40 point lead over kick so now i suppose the the main question is how far can we take this car this season and can we get it up to more podiums or even a potential race win so here we are then folks going into qualifying and we replaced a couple of components on the vehicle we've got the mg uk getting replaced and we've got the turbocharger getting put in as well so hopefully once they go in it'll feel a little bit quicker in the car i have left the energy store in even though it's at 57 percent i'm going to try and push that as far into the season as we can just on the simple fact we've only got two left so well, we've only got one left out of the two that we've got allocated for the season. So hopefully it won't be too bad when we get to the latter part of the season and we'll be able to not get too many grid penalties for those components. But again, we're still looking pretty good, still relatively fresh in the season. And yeah, let's get into qualifying and see how the lap goes. So here we are then. The lap has begun. First couple of corners out the way. And we're feeling good at the minute. Feeling quick and pacey. And nothing to really complain about. So let's string these few corners together and see where we end up by the end of this lap. into the last couple of corners now we come in still in the top 10 at the moment keeping it nice and steady putting the ERS down and there we go lap done and we are 6 so a good good lap again I don't think we were far off the top 5 I, I think the times will be relatively close um, I don't think we'll be I don't think we'll be less than half a second back, and we, we weren't three and a half tenths back. Only less than a tenth back on the clear, so definitely big points on the board here today. Beat Yuki by four tenths, and again, the lap times are all pretty close together when you consider the top ten are separated by half a second. And it's only a second and a half separating the whole field, so pretty quick competitors out on the track so yeah let's get into the full race and, and see how we start it's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session lando norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position and oscar piastri completes the front row considering the rest of the grid we have fernando alonso verstappen leclerc ricardo russell hamilton Sainz. Perez, Stroll, Ocon, Gasly, Sonoda, Albon, Holkenberg, Magnussen, Joe, Bottas, and Logan Sargent. 
And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So here we go then, folks. You've seen the starting lineup. Well, the starting grid, I should say. Let's see how it goes with the starting. The lights go out. And we're pretty quick off the line. Way ahead of the of the chasing pack. We're keeping ourselves out of trouble as we go into the first corner. Alonso not really giving us any room there. We managed to slip by. Get the ERS down. And around the outside of Piastri, we'll a slight look there, but I don't think it's going to quite pull off. And we stay out of trouble out of the first couple of corners. So now we'll get our heads down and see where we can take the race from here. So coming towards the end of the first lap then, and we're still half a second back on Piastri. Leclerc currently chasing us at the moment. Only a couple of tenths back. Car feels pretty good though. And I think we made the right choice in replacing those couple of engine components. The turbo charges is struggling a little bit according to our race engineer, so we'll have to see how that develops over the race. But yeah, we um Yeah, we're putting a good first lap in, and now just gotta try and do it for the next few laps and see if we can get an overtake when DRS opens. DRS has opened up. We'll have a second back on Piastri at the end of lap two. But unfortunately, he is still within a second of Norris of Verstappen, who are battling in turn one. As you can see, just up ahead. Now it gets real interesting, because if we can keep ourselves in DRS of these guys, an overtake might become available in the next few laps. Oh, going for a slight drift on that kerb. And that might just open up the gap to Piastri and give Leclerc an opportunity to get back at us. We've managed to res re rescue that pretty well, to be fair. A bit too much of that inside kerb. It was almost deadly for us as we come to the end of lap three. So getting to the end of lap four now, heading into lap five. Team McLaren still chasing Max. We're still chasing the two McLarens and trying to get ourselves away from the clear, but I think there's a bit of a DRS train, DRS train, sorry, formed, and that's why we're struggling to maybe get rid of the Ferrari driver. And yeah, just trying to get, keep ourselves within that DRS of Piastri, because I think we might become a bit of a sitting duck then if we if we lose him. But there's no doubt about it, the McLarens are definitely in the fight for this race win. So we've fallen out of the DRS now of Piastri and Co. And now Leclerc is going to be beaming down on us, trying to make an overtake, I think. We might be in a fight with the Ferrari and Alonso for the rest of this race, unless something changes. So Leclerc is now overtaking us, and we're trying to stay with him for the most part. Seeing if we can get anywhere near the uh, monogas driver and see if he's going to pull himself towards the McLarens and Max at the top of the order. And a bit too much inside curb there again. And that'll just only help Leclerc. And we're just drifting backwards here. Alonso's now just got in front of us as well, so we are drifting backwards. And we're lose, running low on fuel as well. I've misjudged the amount of fuel that we need in the car. So we might be in a bit of uh, trouble here by the end of the race. And we're only nine laps in. There's a yellow flag being waved. Someone's gone off. Oh, Leclerc's engine's gone. Oh, good lord. Leclerc's going to be out of the race then, and he's going to have to camp it somewhere. Lost a lot of time on Alonso, though. 
And Stroll's now going to get us as well in the Aston. So into lap 11. Alonso's opened up the gap and Stroll's now getting in front of us. So I think this is our battle now. And we're trying to work out how we can get this fuel mix down. Back to zero as soon as possible. There's going to have to be a lot of lifting calls between now and the end of the race to get that back down. And I'll be honest, folks, it's not my forte managing the fuel all that well. So we'll see what we can do. So we're coming in now to box in lap 11 to get onto the hard tyres. And that will be our last one and only pit stop, I should say. It should be without a safety car coming in. It should be the last pit stop of the day. So, again, hopefully it's going to be relatively smooth for us and we don't have any issues. We had an issue attaching the right rear wheel. I know it's not ideal, but let's try and put that behind us now and get back into this race. So we come out in 15th. We're going to be behind Hamilton in the pits. Stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. 13 laps of fuel remaining. So we're about on the cut line <laughs> for the fuel making it to the end of the race. We've got about 13 laps left, and that's what they've told us is left in the fuel tank. So we're going to have to manage this as best we can as we come round the last part of lap 11 for us and head into lap 12. Coming out now with some of the guys that were training behind us. You can see Stroll just ahead there. Russell giving us a bit of a elbows out manoeuvre there. And so now we're in the mix for these bottom half of the top 10. And let's see what we can do. Car behind, running hard tyres. So now heading into lap 14. And Russell is trying to make an overtake. It doesn't quite happen for the young Brit just yet. And again, sort of a similar position to where we were when we were chasing the two McLarens. Trying to uh, keep with Perez and Stroll and Hamilton and see where we end up by the end of this race. But still having to manage this fuel as best we can to make sure we get to the end of it. <laughs> So Russell's going to get in front of me now as we head into lap 15, as is signs. And we're just drifting backwards today. No real pace that we can exploit in the car at the minute. I don't know what it, what's wrong. But, yeah, we just seem to be drifting backwards here and not really able to compete. And next up's in order, so our teammate's now going to be threatening us if we're not careful. And within the next lap, we've got Sonoda now catching up to us. He's within a second, and he's going to make a pass in a moment, I think. Which again, we've just had to we've had to be trying to manage this fuel as best we can to get it back underneath or close to zero. And it's just not happening. And our teammate makes a pretty easy pass. But even without the fuel issues, I don't feel like we've been quick this weekend. So we're falling out the points from being six in qualifying, which is a concern. And our day just gets even worse into lap 18. Gasly overtakes us. Yeah, not a lot we can do. Trying to best to try and get this fuel mix as low as we can. Just yeah, not able to really get ourselves up the up the way and compete for points here. Sonoda's five seconds up the road and he's gonna get the better of us today, unfortunately. Magnuson now goes by. And we drop down to P13. Oh, no. 
Oh. We've mucked up the race entirely there. Got to wait for these guys to go by and come back on. But we might have actually ruined the tyres there. They look okay, actually. That was such a random moment. I've never done that before. We just went a little bit wide, touched a bit of grass, and... Yeah. So a horrible weekend goes from bad to worse. We'll just have to see it through now and just get to the end of the race, pack our bags, and get out of Hungary as quick as possible. So we're trying to manage the fuel as best we can. We're into lap 24 or 25. You can see everyone's just so far ahead of us. Ocon's catching on softs now. And yeah, we've just, we've majorly underfueled the car and it's cost us so much in this race. We're actually going to finish probably in our worst position for a good while, actually. We've had a, been on a pretty good run, but mistakes happen. So yeah, let's just see if the car actually manages to get out of this last lap. Well, here we come then, around the last couple of corners. We've just hit low fuel mode. And barely getting above third or fourth gear on that corner. And yeah, a miserable weekend is completed. And there you have it, folks. There's the race result. Top 10 is Verstappen, Norris, Alonso, Piastri, Stroll, Hamilton, Perez, Russell, Sainz, and our teammate, Sonoda getting the last point. And of course, we had a miserable weekend and ended up in 19th because of major underfueling of the car. We were competitive in the early laps, but of course, once I realized that the fuel was going to be absolutely depleted within like 10, with about five laps to go, we had to we had to really slow down and just try and manage it and get ourselves to the end. Um, but yeah, really disappointing day at the office, but Mistakes are always made in a Formula 1, and the best thing about it is there's always another race to try and rectify the next one. So, let's see what happens. Our new rival, it would appear, is Pierre Gasly, so we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Of course, a little bit of history with Gasly and Ricardo, with Ricardo's famous chant of Pierre's name. But we'll see what happens from here. So, I hope you'll join us for the next race. As always, folks, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's hope we don't underfuel the car next time.